right, hello everyone. This is Sam Ridgway and Cameron Sykes, another episode of Tales from the Crypto. And one of the things I want to do first is I want to kind of re reiterate that what we're doing here is we're providing you with assets that are going to increase in value. Assets that you don't have to sit around and watch every minute of the day. There are a lot of channels out there that will give you, like you have to buy now, you have to sell now. And if you don't, uh, you're going to lose money. That's that's not what we're we're doing here. I'm taking extra money that I have, let's say $5,000, and I'm putting that into various assets that are going to go up in value over time that I don't have to watch on a consistent basis. If you want to do the same, that's it. You're discretion. I don't recommend that you do that. This isn't financial advice, all the rest of that stuff. But just sitting, just sit the stuff there and just let it grow. That's what you're doing. So you don't have to have this whole thing where you're constantly glued to your computer. But anyway, Cameron, and, and you know, do you agree with, with oh, yeah. that assessment? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're just trying to provide you with the knowledge and the tools to help you guys make smart decisions that are good for your portfolio and allow you to make money over time. You know, we're not expecting you to be day traders or, you know, the next uh, big hedge fund guru. We're trying to, you know, give you ideas so you can buy something. And then three years from now, you realize you, you had the next Ethereum and you bought it at, at, at $200. That's what we're trying to do. We're collecting assets, you sit it and forget it. And over time, hopefully you have a lot, a lot of money and that's the whole game plan. Right, because if you have you if you have a bank account and you have money in a savings account, I mean, you're not even going to get one percent out of that, right? I mean, it's you're you're going to get like nothing out of that. No, in fact, so, you're actually losing money because in with the rate of inflation is like you, the buying power decreases over time, and so you have to have your money placed in something that's at least earning a little bit of interest, just to keep pace inflation, not lose money in that sense. So what we're trying to do, give you these ideas, you put money in there and then hopefully see that appreciate over time. And that's exactly, I think what's going to happen. Right. Perfect. And, and you know what, I think what we need to do is kind of, maybe it would be good to come up and show like what we've recommended and where it is. Now you have to understand that right now we're kind of in a little bit of a down market, but the market's extremely volatile in the crypto market, in crypto space. So it's going to go up, it's going to come down. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Right now, in Bitcoin, when Bitcoin falls, that's usually when the altcoins and the other things kind of fall as well. But then they come back up. Like, it's it's sort of like a plateau or ratcheting effect. Up, little down, up, little down. But we're still constantly making higher highs. So the market is going up, but you're still going to have a, a day or so. But here's where we are right now. We had done NKN. That's it, 14% up right now. Uh, the one, one of them that Cameron's going to do today, which is Luna, it's up 2% already. I just bought it uh, today. Uh, and then True's down 13%, IOTX is down 1%. Now, I just sent something out last week where IOTX was up 6%. And it's, it's not up today, but it's going to go back up there. My point is, this is going to be a far better place to put your money. And not only am I just saying that, I'm showing you that what we're recommending is actually going up in value. And we're, we're real with you. I'm not just going to blow a bunch of smoke and only show you the good ones. Where there's one down 13%, there's one down 1%, right? And that's going to happen. That's in the natural scheme of things. But overall, we're still up 2%, which again, is what your bank would never give you in two friggin' years. So that's the point with all of this. So anyway, Karen, why don't you take it and uh, introduce maybe uh, maybe something else or, or kind of add to what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit. In fact, if you listened to the first episode of the show, then you would have heard us mention Quant, which if you would have bought in that day, you'd be up around 100% right now. IOTX is down 1% since our recommendation last week. TrueFi is down, I think it was around 13% since our last recommendation. But as I said, you know, we're, we're not just trying to you know, buy these, hold these for a day, then sell these for a profit. We're buying these now and we're holding these and we're very confident that over time we're going to make a lot of money. In fact, I added to my TrueFi position last night, seeing it's down, and I'll continue to add as it, in dollar cost average if it continues to go down, which quite frankly, I don't think that will be very much longer. I believe you mentioned the very first episode, we anticipate the whole markets would be kind of uh, moving sideways up until at least September, October-ish. And then we're going to see a real bull run begin. And so right now is a great time to kind of add to your positions, build a strong base, and that'll give you even you know more money, like when this whole thing takes off in the next month or so. And, and that's a great point. That's a great point, Cameron, because that's one of the other things that you have to like in a down sort of trend where it goes down a little bit. Don't look at it. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? I need to sell anything to get. No, look at that as a buying opportunity. True is down 13 percent right now. You can buy it at a 13 percent discount 
right now if you wanted to add to it. Now, I'm not saying you go in and put another $5,000 into it or something like that, but if you throw another $500 at it when it's down 13%, I mean, that's probably a pretty good buy. And Cameron always gives you the range and says, it's a good buy within this range. So you always know where that range is that that's a good buying opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, yeah, I mean, one of the things I was actually worried about when starting the show is that NKN and some of these would take off before I had more time to add to those positions. And so right now it's a good opportunity to keep packing that money in there because they will take off. I'm very confident about that. And we'll see in the next few months. But um, with that said, should we get into the, the recs for this week? Let's do it. All right. Short and sweet. I say, I say we come in with the meat and potatoes. We give it to them. We drop off. We don't waste anybody's time. We don't do a lot of fluff. We just say, okay, here's what we're recommending. Here's where you should buy it between. And then, uh, you know, we let people do whatever they want to do. All right, perfect. Well, hey, let's get into it. The first one that I have for you guys is Terra, which is the ticker symbol Luna. You can't get that on Coinbase, but what you can get on Coinbase is Wrapped Luna, which is essentially Luna. Uh, it's, it's, it, but it trades on Coinbase. It, it's a dollar per dollar equivalent of Terra. And so it's essentially been able to get that, but on Coinbase. Um, it's currently trading around $29.88 as a 30 day low of $7.79 and a 30 day high of $34.51. That's uh, the 52 week low was 27 cents. 52 week high was at 34.51. Um, I'm predicting by the end of the year, it's probably going to be around $100, and I'll tell you why. Terra is a blockchain protocol that uses fiat-pegged stablecoins to power price-stable global payment systems. Wow, that is a mouthful. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies pegged to another asset. So there are already quite a few stablecoins, most of which are pegged to the U.S. dollar, and Terra offers one of those, which is the Terra UST. But, if you also, but it also has stablecoins pegged to many other currencies. Terra's native token is Luna, and that's used to stabilize the price of the protocol's stable coins. Luna holders are also able to submit and vote on government's pro proposals. The Terra blockchain ranks in the top five in terms of revenue. Revenue numbers from, Terra, from the token terminal have Terra in the top five. It's behind Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Bitcoin, and it's very neck and neck with Polygon, which is a very good sign for Terra fans. Many cryptocurrency projects aren't in use yet, but Terra is one of the biggest money makers. It has been on a tear as of late, and I can easily see it hitting 40 by the end of the week uh, if the momentum continues. A slight pullback would probably be expected and healthy, but overall, I'm very long and bullish on this. If it hits the resistance at $35 and retracts, then I would buy anywhere under $30 and above $25. And since I don't want to miss the rally entirely, but also don't want to buy inflated prices, I'm going to deploy a dollar cost averaging strategy on it if it continues to go down or move up uh, just to be safe. Definitely buying the dips and uh, reduce your overall cost per coin. I want to say one other thing, which is a lot of people, uh, you know, they're like, it's $30 a pop. Like I, I only have, you know, $1,000, how many can possible? But what we're looking at is a percentage of your money increasing. So if your money goes up 20% off of something that you have 30 shares with, or your money goes up, you know, the same amount on something you have a thousand shares with, the increase to your overall money supply was, was 10%, 20%, whatever that may be. So don't be afraid, even on some of the larger ones like Bitcoin, don't be afraid to buy a fractional Bitcoin, which means I just put $2,000 into it. I don't own an entire Bitcoin, but again, if my money goes up 20%, I've made 20%. It's just that the larger cap ones, the larger price ones, the, the price fluctuates far more than the, than the smaller ones. They're, but the larger ones like Bitcoin, that's a kind of a better solid deal though as well. I mean, your chances of losing all your money is a lot less than buying these little ones at 13 cents. So my point is just don't be afraid to just put your money into it, even if you're, even if you don't think you're getting a lot out of that in, in quantity of, of, uh, of assets. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Totally agree with you on that one. And I guess with that said, should, should we get into the next one right here? Yes, sir. We had the next one we have for you is Avalanche ticker symbol AVAX. It's trading at about $48.18 today. It's on a 30 day low was $10.77 and 30 day high was $53.29. 52 week high is also is around $59.94 and the 52 week low is $2.79. My price prediction for this by the end of the year, it will be around 75 bucks. And I'll tell you why. Avalanche is essentially an umbrella platform for launching decentralized finance applications. 
financial assets, trading, and other services. It essentially aims to be something of a global assets exchange, allowing anyone to launch or trade any form of asset and control it in a decentralized manner using smart contracts and other cutting edge techniques. Developers at Ava Labs claims that Avalanche is the first smart contracts network to offer transaction finalization in under a second as standard. Avalanche launched its main in September 2020. The platform's native token is AVAX. It performs various tasks within Avalanche and also functions as a rewards and payment system for users. It's an alternative to the Ethereum blockchain. Avalanche says that the fact that it processes thousands of transactions per second and has low fees makes it a haven for Ethereum defectors. And um, as DeFi becomes more and more popular, it becomes clear that Ethereum blockchain is currently struggling to fit all the activity. Thus, it's important to expand other to other chains and layer twos. Um, so this is a great opportunity there. As DeFi grows more and more popular, causing Ethereum's network to struggle with all the activity leading to higher costs for users, this is one of the major reasons why we're seeing an influx into Avalanche, as it's less costly alternative to Ethereum that is more aptly designed for, for DeFi and dApps. As this trend continues, I see great for potential for exponential growth for Avalanche over the next few years, and I'm very long. It's not even yet on Coinbase, but... I, I highly anticipate it will be sometime soon. So if you want to go buy it now, you could buy it on Binance, OKX, or uh, Hubai Global. Um, so yeah, I think this has a potential to be one. This would have been like buying Ethereum four years ago at three hundred bucks, and seeing it to, and growing that to over thirty thousand dollars today. So I think it's a great opportunity uh, with so many so many DeFi. Um, applications just going on ethereum's network it's just slowing it down it's making it too costly and so this is the time for competitors to emerge and avalanche is one of those i think has a lot of room for growth and uh quite frankly i think ethereum has probably seen the most of its growth has already has already happened and so i think uh this is an opportunity to see massive massive growth and uh i highly recommend it and that's why i'm long what we have for this session is w luna and we have avax those are the two that we have and I'll have those up on the screen when you're talking. So I'll, I'll put that in um, at post-production. But anyway, I want to keep it under 15 minutes because that's the time frame we have to upload the videos. So Cameron, again, I want everybody to know that you spend a lot of time researching these things. It's not like you randomly point to something and say, you know, I think we'll do this. There's a lot of freaking research that goes into this. Right. So that, that's what I'm saying. You're getting all of this knowledge from Cameron for absolutely nothing. All we want to do is is make is is increase your the your net worth. That's all we want. Absolutely. We're going to be finding really creative strategies for you to be able to do that, finding diamonds in the rough, undiscovered gems and uh, presenting those to you each week and each week is going to be an opportunity for you guys to uh, you know make a lot of money. So I'm excited. All right. I appreciate it, Cameron. Thanks again. We'll be back next Wednesday. And if anything comes up that we see like uh, an emergency sort of thing, we'll jump on and we'll tell you. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Absolutely. Thank you guys right, so we'll much. We'll see you yeah. next Wednesday.